Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. So, in the last class, we have started our output unit, isn't it? We have discussed about monitor, right? So, which are the other uh, examples for the output device? Which are the other examples? Have you ever heard about printer? What is that? What is printer? What is printer? What is printer? <laughs> I know that you all are familiar with this term, isn't it? What is that? What is that? Output device. Ah, it is an output device. So, why we are using? Why do we use this printer? That is a smart answer. So, what is the main role of a printer? You have seen printer, isn't it? You have taken printouts. So, what is that? Oh, process information. Process. Please repeat the sentence. I heard. Uh, yeah. I want to cross check. Process data. Who does the processing? CPU. Hmm. I'm just asking about printer. <laughs> so what is the role of the printer? It shows the process data. Ah. Yeah, we can tell like that. Yes. Then. Then, what else? Actually, Printer is used to generate hard copies, isn't it? You have seen the hard copy, right? Yes. So, what is a printer? Basically, it is an output device, that is correct, and it generates hard copy, printouts. It is used for taking printouts, isn't it? And it can generate both text and image on a paper. So, what is the role of or what is the use of a printer? It is used for generating hard copy. Okay, hard copy that we can touch, that we can see, isn't it? So, printer is an output device. It is used for generating the hard copy. Or it is used for taking printouts, isn't it? You used to take printouts of your notes, right? Yes. So, if you have not seen the printer, this is the printer. On the right hand side, you can see the uh, image of the printer. Okay. So, before moving to the next topic, I want to ask you one question regarding this. Have anyone painted? Have you ever painted your wall? Have you ever painted your wall? Which means that your room, it can be your room's wall. Have you ever painted? No. Yes, girls, first question for the girls. Girls first, yes. Have you ever painted? Anaga is saying no. Yes, Norin? No. Pooja? No. And uh, no more girls, right? Yes. What about boys? No. <laughs> Excellent. So, <laughs> I think you have seen, isn't it? We can, play, uh, we can paint our wall with the help of brush and using spray paint, isn't it? I hope you have seen. So, can you just tell me what is the difference between this using brush and uh, what spray paint? What is the difference? Both are used for painting the wall. So, what is the difference? I want that logic through which I can connect to my concept. So, what is the difference? We can paint our wall using brush, isn't it? That is right. And we can also paint using what spray paint, isn't it? So, what is the difference? Think. This you have to give me. You have to give me the answer. What is the difference? Think. See, uh, I know that most of you are having some sort of answers. You can tell me no problem. Yeah. Even if it is wrong, no problem. Yes, when I. What is the difference? 
when we are using brush and when we are using that spray what is the difference think think uh, logically it is right but hmm another set of answer i want another logic just when i think yeah i want the answer yes uh, your voice is not clear can you just repeat my dear actually i can i am not audible can uh, anyone translate this what she is telling i can't hear properly what about others yeah now rain can you just send the message i think i don't know why i can't hear you properly type you just send a message to me chat yeah send in the chat box yes what about others yes tell me the logic what is the difference between by using that paint yeah what is this yes using that brush and paint some spots we left out and they please yes can you just repeat some spots will be left out <laughs> yeah that is true not that point yes very good yes i want that logic yeah give me the answer niranjan yeah tell me look at my action when we are using brush what is the difference when we are using paint yes you are and physical force is not required physical force is not required ha <laughs> uh, in which physical force is not required both uh, if we say to uh, paint paint please uh, paint the wall will it do no, no ma'am we are doing with the hand we are doing with the hand in both cases we are using our hand isn't it yes you are but you are close to the answer any other answer Paint will be faster than uh, brush paint. Hmm. Okay, that's correct. But I want. This is not my point. Yes. Thing thing. Speed. Hmm. Last action. When we are using brush, and when we are using spray. Less effort and energy. Hmm. It is okay, but not. That physical contact yes who told that correct see when we are using brush there is a contact between the brush and the wall isn't it when we are using spray is there any contact <laughs> is there any contact no similarly there are two types of printer okay very good so there are two types of printer that is impact and non impact printer in impact printer there is a contact between the printer head and the paper and while coming to the non impact printer there will be no contact with the uh, between the printer head and the paper there is a printer head okay uh, through which we can print so there are two types of printer that is why i have just connected it with that brush and paint so in impact printer in all the days impact printers are used nowadays also i think uh, in government offices we can see this type of printers so in impact printer there is contact and in non impact printer there is no contact that is the difference okay is that clear so in impact printer there is a uh, contact between the um, printing mechanism and the paper and while coming to the non impact printer there is no contact between printing mechanism and the paper that is the main difference between impact and non impact printer okay so basically there are two types of printer impact printer and non impact printer is it over So, first one is dot 
metric printer on the right hand side you can see this printer have you ever seen this printer no i think you have seen in the at least movie so this is also known as serial printer this is other uh, another name for the dot matrix printer it prints one character at a time this is the specialty of this printer and as the names uh, in the name you can see dot which means that this type of printer uses dots to create an image if you want to type a it will be like this okay so it uses dots to create an image and this type of printers uh prints characters by striking an ink soaked ribbon you have seen those are those who are having uh printers at your home you have seen the ribbon is red so this type of printers prints character by striking an ink soaked ribbon against the paper which means that there will be a contact and it will make sound i think you have heard the uh, sound of this in the movies tak 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 when you are just printing have you ever see uh, heard that or have, have you ever seen this type of printer in the movies i think in um, where uh, i have seen this have you ever seen this type of printer anywhere in movies in courts i think yeah have you ever seen yes rahul have you ever seen this type of printer uh-huh. where mam i have seen in my father's office ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, yeah uh, it makes sound isn't it sound lot of sound is coming from that isn't it yeah so and it this type of uh, printer generates a carbon copy also okay so this which so uh, this dot matrix printer is a uh, impact printer or non impact printer which type of printer is this there is a contact so which type of printer is this impact impact printer okay so dot matrix printer as an impact printer then what else what is other name it is also known as serial printer which prints one character at a time and it uses dots to create an image okay this can they can print one line of text at a time okay and this type of printers is having low resolution graphics so this is a dot matrix printer this printer comes under impact printer which means that there is a contact between the printing mechanism and the paper is that clear and uh, as the from the name we will get to know that it uses dots to create an image okay is that clear this is all about our first printer which is dot matrix printer so yeah sorry is it over yeah second one is ink jet other name is desk jet and bubble jet okay so it is having different alternative names this is a low cost printer i think you have seen this type of printer isn't it it uses ink which means that it sprays ink so which type of uh, printer is this impact or non impact ink sprays the ink so what is uh, which type of printer is this ink ah uh, yeah yeah john non impact non impact yes so it uses the technique of spreading dry or quick ink in a, on a paper okay and ink is been stored in the form of car, uh, cartridges of different colors red green black and yellow and generates high quality prints so this is the common printers that we are using now okay it is a low cost printer and this type of printers generate high quality prints and these are been used in small offices and homes so if you are if you are having this do you have do anyone have any printer at your home yes yes tom do you have yes from our printer which type of printer it is desk yes 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 which type desk jet okay so here you can see the printer this is a low cost printer it generates high quality prints 
and it uses what technique it uses spreading cake drying on the paper okay and the last one is laser printer i hope you have seen this in the shops isn't it so from this name you can see that it uses which technology laser so which type of printer is this impact or non impact is there any contact laser it uses laser beams so it is there any contact is there any contact <laughs> it comes under non impact printer it is faster printer and it is used for high quality prints okay when you go to shop if you want any prints i hope most in the most of the shops you can find this type of printers okay so this is the laser printer it uses which technology it uses laser technology for printing the document isn't it so it is used for high quality prints is that clear now what is a speaker what is a speaker yes niranjan tell me unmute and tell me yeah mm hmm yes then rahul i uh, can hear sound okay uh jis are you there jis no yeah what no. is a speaker output output okay. what output input or output <laughs> input or output device output device okay output device uh renil yes ma'am can you just tell me about the printer i don't know what is uh, not printer can you just tell me about the speaker i don't know what is a speaker so can you just tell me about the speaker <laughs> Speaker is an electronic output device that converts data into corresponding sound. Can we say it into it? It is an electronic output device that converts data into electronic sound. Uh, electrical, electrical, electronic audio signal. Now. <laughs> yeah. So the output here is the audio, isn't it? We get output as the audio, the form of audio, right? so now we are going to discuss about speaker so as you all know that it is an example for an output device and it generates output output device means the device which used to generate output and to produce sound it produces sound so it is having a special device called sound card okay which is required to be installed in the computer system so sound card is one of the major factors so to produce sound we need a special device called sound card which is to be installed in the computer system okay those who have not seen the speaker yet so this is the speaker on the right hand side you can see the speaker there are different types of speaker so this is an output device which means that it generates output and it uh, to produce sound it needs we need a special device called sound card so this type of so speaker generates sound as an output isn't it so it generate sound as an output here the output is in the form of sound is that clear yeah and last one is plotter have you ever heard about this word plotter those who have not heard the speaker monitor i don't know whether you have heard this word plotter p l o w t e r what is that <laughs> what is that yeah if you want to print in uh, when you are using printer you can only use the small papers isn't it when you want to print on a, a large paper which means that like flex and all we use plotters 
So here you can see the image of plotter. Those who have not seen the plotter, this is the plotter. Have you ever seen this before? Yes, John? Philip? You are saying something, yes? No, ma'am. No? No, I have. Okay. So this is a plotter. So it is an output device. It produces good quality images and drawings and they support printing of large size papers. Okay. So if you want to print in a large size paper, you can use floater. So this is an output device which is just similar to the printer. So this is an example for an output device. It produces good quality images and drawing and they support printing for large size papers. Okay. So this is all about our floater. Is that clear? So this chapter is all about basic units of computer, computer system. Finished? Yeah. So let's revise the topics that we have learned from the starting of this chapter after that i will be giving you some sort of questions simple questions you just try to answer okay so in this chapter first we have started um, yeah first we have learned what is computer isn't it we have learned about what is a computer it is an electronic device then we have gone through some basic concepts regarding data and information right then we have learned the basic parts of a computer system which is hardware and software then ipo cycle ipo stands for i stands for i stands for input p stands for process process and o stands for output output yes after that we have learned about um yeah this is one of the important question uh it is sure you can just expect this question not now for the next exam because this is one of the important question a fun uh, functional components of a computer system what is other name for this what is other name what is other name for this one neumann architecture yes so the question will be like this what is von Neumann architecture? So at that time you have to draw this and you have to explain this figure. Okay. So what is the basic concept? Which means that we receive, we used to give data using this input data using the input devices and who does the processing? CPU does the processing and we will get the output using the through output devices. Okay. So there are main and uh, secondary memory. What is the other name for the main memory? It is primary memory and what is the other name for the secondary mem uh, memory it is auxiliary memory which is used for storing the data there should be someone to store the data isn't it so this type of memory shows the data and what is the main role of the main memory it holds the input and intermediate output during the processing so please do learn this figure and what is register what is register <laughs> okay before that what is input unit the devices what is input unit What is input unit? What is input unit? Yeah, which takes input from us and it converts it into binary form, which has been understood by us, isn't it? For us, it has been converted into binary language, isn't it? Yeah, for whom it has been converted to binary form? For us or for computer? For us or for computer? Binary for whom? Computer. Computer. So it accepts input and converts it into binary form, which can be understood by computer. Okay. So binary means two states. It can be zero or one, which means that on or off. Okay. 
then we have so this is a basic definition regarding input unit it fetches the input and converts it into binary form which is directly understood by the computer then we have gone through some of the examples of the input unit yes keyboard what are the examples for the input devices keyboard mouse then light pen then optical mark reader isn't it smart card reader barcode reader there are many examples for that then we have learned about cpu cpu stands for central processing unit it consists of three units which are the three units yeah alu mu and cu alu stands for alu stands for unmute and tell me the answer alu stands for <laughs> ALU stands for arithmetic logic unit. Yes, what is the role of that? What does it do? It performs it all, the, all operations. Mm, it performs uh, arithmetic and logical operations. What about CU? CU stands for control. control unit. So, what is the use of that? It controls the flow, isn't it? It controls the flow of data. Does it? Do, uh, does this unit process the data? Does this unit process the data? No, it just sends the signal, isn't it? So this is the part which controls all the devices which has been connected to the computer. And what is register? What is register? It is a temporary storage area, isn't it? It is a temporary storage area which has been found in the CPU. What is the role of that? It stores instruction and data immediately, which has been required for performing an operation. Okay. Then we have discussed about MU, which what is the uh, role of this unit? It is used for storing data as a sender and which can be accessed directly by CPU. And after that, we have learned about primary and secondary uh, memory. Then, uh, yes, what is memory cell? You know that each cell has been divided into smaller components, which is known as bit. Okay, and this bit can be either 0 or 1. This combination of these bits help us to store the information, isn't it? Our data and instruction. Then there are two types of memory, which are, uh, there are two types of main memory, which are the two types of main memory, RAM and ROM. RAM stands for? random access memory and room stands for read only memory after that we have learned about different types of ram and room there are two types of ram dram and sram which means the dynamic ram and static ram after that we have learned about room isn't it is it volatile or non volatile which type of memory is this room volatile or non volatile yeah tell me no non volatile non volatile yes it is a non volatile memory and here you can see different types of rom which are the different types of rom programmable read only memory erasable read only uh, programmable read only memory then electrically erasable programmable read only memory isn't it yes now after that we have discussed about cache memory which is a small memory which has been placed between cpu and main memory then which is the elementary unit of memory bit okay bit stands for binary digit it can be 0 or 1 8 bits means 1 byte and 4 bits means unable okay then we have gone through different units of computer memory then at last we have discussed about output unit so it is formed by the output devices which has been attached in the computer it produces output it gives us the result isn't it which has been generated by the cpu and we have gone through different examples monitor then after that we have discussed about printer then then we have speak uh, we have gone through different examples of printers then speaker at last plotter isn't it yes this is all about the topics that we have covered i think now we are ready shall i give you the question ready just try even if it is wrong no problem okay ready yes, yeah sir.
डोंट टेक द हेल्प ऑफ योर नोट जस्ट राइट वॉट यू नो collection of four bits is called a dash third one binary number system digits as dash and dash dash in computer is capable of performing arithmetic and logical operation operations IPO stands for Is it over? Is it over? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah.
होगा so let's discuss the answers so what is the answer for the first one what is the answer for the first one here yeah, what is the answer a collection of 8 bits is called byte yes a collection of 8 bits is called a byte or one byte okay it's called a byte yes a collection of 4 bits 4 bits nibble yes and i b b l e and binary number system has digits as which are the two digits 1 and 2 hmm 1 and 2 you mean this 0 and 1 Oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> it is 0 and 1 right it is 0 and 1 <laughs> so dash fourth one dash in computer is capable of uh, i think performing isn't it yes performing arithmetic and logical operation which is that which unit is that which unit alu alu okay it is alu and ipo stands for input I process output yes it stands for input process and output isn't it so next one list all the functional components of a computer which are the different components input unit then output unit which are the different CPU. components cpu one more is there for storing what is that memory unit memory. yeah okay and uh, name the part of the computer which is responsible for processing which part is that processing cpu cpu yes third one name the primary memory which is volatile volatile ram. which is what ram excellent and uh, what are the two parts of a main memory which are the two parts of the main memory primary and secondary main memory These are the two types of main memory. These are the two types of main memory: RAM and ROM. ROM. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. I hope it is clear. So thank you all bye thank you all